Guys, if you've used ChatGPT or Bard or any other AI writing software before, you would know that these software and these technologies have a very specific way of writing. And that's because they write AI content. It is not exactly human content. Many times it looks better than what you would write. But at the end of the day, it is AI content. And unfortunately, due to this specific way of writing, due to this specific way that these software arrange these keywords, right? What happens is it is detectable by tools, many tools that you and I both have access to and sometimes even more sophisticated tools that professors and instructors have access to. That means if you are using these tools to write your SOPs, to write your research articles, to write publications, what will happen is that these software will pick up on your AI written content and they will tell the reviewer that this person has not exactly done the right job and at the end of the day, this is not their original work. And what that means is that it's gonna be bad, right? If you're writing it in an SOP, you're not gonna get admission. If you're writing it in a research article, it's not gonna get published. So at the end of the day, it's very important to know how to actually go ahead and avoid this blunder. Now, I'm gonna give you some examples and then we're gonna move forward. The first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna go on to ChatGPT and take a look at this. This right here is text that I wrote on my own. This is my content, this is human content. Right, with immense hope, John was spending eight, eight months building the best boat. I'm talking about John who is stranded on Mulberry Island. He wants to get out, he's trying his best, but he's not able to, he's been there for seven years. That's what I wrote, all right, all of that. Now, I asked ChatGPT to paraphrase this text. And that's what it did, it uh, wrote it in its own words, but this right here is AI content. It's very easy to say that, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this content. And first thing first, we want to see is this content plagiarized, right? So I'm going on to the best software out there that's called Turnitin and I will upload both this and this to Turnitin and let's see if this content is plagiarized. If it is plagiarized, Turnitin will get it, that's for sure. So here we go. I have already gotten the report out for you and now you can see that there's 0% plagiarism. That means that Okay, my content, of course, it won't have plagiarism. I wrote it out of my own mind, but ChatGPT's content also is not plagiarized. That means, and that is amazing, right? Because at the end of the day, people can use research articles. They can go ahead and paraphrase those research articles in AI content, and they can just republish the content. At the end of the day, that's easy to do, right? And you would have a research paper under your name. But that is, of course, not ethical. That's not what you should be doing at the end of the day. And if you get caught, there will be consequences, right? So how do these softwares detect that? And that's when Turnitin and all these other softwares thought about detecting AI content. And now we're gonna go on to copyleaks.com, which is one of the best AI detectors out there for free, by the way. And I'm gonna paste the content of ChatGPT. This is the ChatGPT content that I'm pasting over here. And I'm gonna ask it to check if this content is indeed AI generated. And the moment I press check, let's see what happens. It's verifying if I'm a human first off, and then it tells you that it is AI content. It highlights the whole thing, all right? Now, that is the problem with the softwares. That means that if you, if you create content through these softwares, AI content will be detected. Now, what do you do to actually fix this? We're gonna talk about that, but before that, let me just prove to you that if we paste human content over here, right? We paste human content, we check it, it will automatically detect that it is human content, all right? And we don't know how it does that, but it's an algorithm that detects how AI writers write, right? And it detects them, that's it. So let's get back to the part with ChatGPT and let's say that this is the content and for some reason you need to use this software. How do you go ahead and reduce your AI content detection? How do you not get it detected? So what you're gonna do is either you edit this content in your own words, you can change certain parts of it, you can change certain words, you can write it differently, right? Maybe you wanna write a synonym here, right? Maybe what you wanna do is, despite investing seven years of your uh, life, you know, what you can say is, even after investing seven years of his life, that's one way, but you're gonna have to make quite some changes over here, right? And let's say that we are changing a little bit more. John dedicated eight months, or we can say spent, spent eight months, in constructing 
the finest boat, uh, boat possible using using whatever scrap materials he could find on the island right or uh, and on, on this part also filled with optimism john did this right so what we can say is okay john was filled with optimistic beliefs about getting off the island and then we can say he spent right so similarly you know you can you can you can change quite a lot of things even after investing seven years of his life on mulberry island he found himself trapped and then we can say he realized that the time that his time on the island was far from over so i changed everything over here by myself that's quite time taking but let's check over here and it's still detecting it that means it's not that easy in certain cases i have been able to change it and again like i said it requires a lot of patience but many a times the software will still detect it so what we want to do over here is we'll just go back take all of this chat gpt content and now this time i'll use a paraphrasing tool now again this is a free paraphrasing tool by sem rush it's called good content I'm pasting my Ch chat GPT content over here. I'm asking it to paraphrase it. Of course, at the end of the day, what you want to do is not only paraphrase it, but also read it. See if it's keeping all the context. Sometimes it loses context, right? But this tool generally is quite good. And then you can use this content and you can start right over here again. And you can check and this will say that this is human text. So just because it could not detect that chat GPT or Bard and all of these frameworks right the way they write is very specific it could not detect those cues over here it has finally given the thumbs up that this is human text all right and that was quite easy right you detect uh, you create the text from chat gpt you paraphrase it right and then you bring it here and then it's not detected all right this would be the easiest way to go about things but at the end of the day you still have to read everything you still have to verify that the context is there so it is still a little bit difficult remember you can use many paraphrasing tools such as quillbot rcm rush just like i showed you over here there's more tools as well but personally i don't think quillbot is the best because sometimes it gets detected under ai text whereas this software that i've tried by SEM rush it never gets detected so maybe you want to stick to this one but remember you can take this one step further and you can reduce ai detection even further how take a look at this chart first so this is what we did right now we took chat gpt text we put it into a paraphrasing tool we got the output and it was human text but sometimes this may not be the case because you know there's still a small chance that it may be detected so what you can also do is you take chat gpt text you take it out of a, of a paraphrasing tool you bring it into another paraphrasing tool right so you could basically have for instance quillbot first and then sem rush later on and then at the output what you can do is you can then check and at that time there would be almost zero chances that your text will be ai detected all right so it will be human text in most cases remember the more you paraphrase the better it is so of course you can do it multiple times but remember that every time you do it some part of the text some context may be lost that's why you want to avoid doing this a lot all right but this is the right way to do things if you are if you're actually doing something like that and i hope that this video helps thank you for watching make sure to subscribe follow us on instagram for more such content as well and i'll see you in the next one